In the midst of more serious strategy games like Imperator Rome, Steel Division, and Total War 3 Kingdoms, it's a nice refresher to get a strategy-ish game that lets you have a bit more fun while playing it. On April 24th, Frontier Developments, the developers of a Planet Coaster, announced their latest upcoming title, Planet Zoo. Much like its predecessor, Planet Zoo seeks to create the ultimate simulation experience, this time through building and managing a zoo. In Planet Zoo, you'll be creating a zoo under the premise that animal welfare and conservation come first, meaning you'll be researching tech to improve your animal's livelihood, breeding, and releasing endangered animals back into the wild to repopulate the planet. Planet Zoo presents the most authentic animals in video game history. From playful lion cubs to mighty elephants, every animal in Planet Zoo is an individual who thinks, feels, and explores the world you build around them. They care about their surroundings and each other with complex environmental and social needs. Nurture your animals throughout their lives, study and manage every species to see them thrive, and help them raise young to pass their genes on to future generations. Growing up in the Tycoon era of PC gaming, I can't tell you how many hours I spent playing the Zoo Tycoon series. It was fascinating and exciting as a kid to develop a successful zoo full of attractions, animals, and even dinosaurs. Going back to it now, and it all seems so incredibly basic compared to today's graphics, but it was still a blast to play. And having played Planet Coaster quite a bit when it was released, I can say that I'm pretty dang excited for Planet Zoo. As it is a direct successor to Coaster, I don't think we'll be seeing any of Jurassic World Evolution's lack of creativity or customization. Planet Coaster was all about creating the park however you wanted to, with attention to detail being one of their top priorities, and I think we are going to get to see that evolved and expanded even more in Planet Zoo. However, we will get to see some crossover from Jurassic World, as a big part of the game is about conservation and welfare. We will be seeing some genetic research to a degree being done throughout the game that could not only affect your wildlife inside the zoo, but also help craft a species that is better suited in its native home for repopulation. So it's a bit of fun in managing what looks to be a vibrant life-filled zoo with a bit buckling down to get the job done and make a better future for the animals inside of it. Either way, the trailer looks pretty good and I look forward to seeing more information once it's released. Planet Zoo is looking at a fall 2019 release date at the moment, but let's just hope that the delayed release bug of 2019 that's been plaguing games lately doesn't get to it. Thanks for checking out this quick spotlight on Planet Zoo. If you haven't checked the channel out, it's going through a bit of a transition stage, but that shouldn't deter you from subscribing to keep up to date with the latest gaming news, reviews, and guides that I produce. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.